Thank you for viewing a video in my channel. I want you to know that because of people like you, I am able to make the contents that love I do. But it takes about 80% of my views come from people who are not subscribed to my channel. I know that subscribing my channel is just a click to you, but it gives me the inspiration and motivation to continue my work. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you and stay blessed. Let's move to the content. Who are these woolly mammoths? Woolly mammoths lived throughout the last ice age, and their numbers may have declined as the climate warmed and their food supply altered. Humans may have have played a role in their extinction owing to hunting. Woolly mammoths were probably approximately the size of African elephants, despite the word mammoth having evolved to denote large. Elephants in the past had smaller ears than elephants of today. This was most likely an adaptation to the frigid climate, as it kept their ears closer to their heads, keeping them warmer. Their tusks were around 15 feet, 5 meters, long, and they utilized them for fighting and digging in the heavy snow. Mammoths were herbivores who predominantly ate grass, but also ate a variety of other vegetation. Woolly mammoths are extinct relatives of today's elephants. Now those extinct relatives have an interesting news to hear about, and that is, scientists claim they have the tools to bring the woolly mammoth back to life. According to Colossal, a startup that has secured $15 million to support the project, woolly mammoths were essential to protecting the ecology thousands of years ago. Before going extinct, mammoths were active benefactors in safeguarding the health of the Arctic environment. According to a blog post on the company's website, the essential conclusion to be made is fairly simple. The woolly mammoth was a natural guardian of a better Earth. According to this, scientists believe they may genetically recreate the extinct species by merging DNA from woolly mammoths and Asian elephants, which are 99.6% genetically identical. The team aims to be able to create an embryo of the hybrid animal in six years if they are successful. The founding of the company, according to Harvard Medical School biologist George G. Dutchurch, who has long championed the concept, is a big milestone for researchers. G. Church stated, it's going to make all the difference in the world. G. Church first captured the public's attention in 2013 when he spoke at the National Geographic Society on the species' potential good impact. According to the New York Times, the researcher argued that woolly mammoths are conceptually a solution to rising carbon dioxide levels in the regions where the animals flourished. Reviving this ecosystem, according to Colossal's website, could assist in reverse the increasing warming of the climate. It could also help safeguard the Arctic's permafrost which is one of the world's largest carbon reserves, according to the researchers. Some experts, though, are wary of the proposal. A evolutionary genetics professor at the Stockholm-based Center for Paleogenetics told NPR that he does not believe there would be any impact, any detectable impact, on the rate of climate change in the future, even if it succeeds. Bringing back the species, he believes, could even have a negative effect on temperatures. Bringing back something that has all the qualities that would have flourished in the Pleistocene doesn't always guarantee it will live today. Joseph Fredrickson, a vertebrate paleontologist, told NPR. Nonetheless, scientists at Colossal, such as G. Church, are enthusiastic about their strategy. He told the New York Times, I'm not making a wild forecast that this is going to be easy, but everything has been relatively simple up to this point. We've been able to find a recipe for every tissue we've sought. So what's your opinion on this? Let us know by commenting. Thanks for watching and huge thanks to everybody. Hit the like button and subscribe and turn on the notification settings. Don't forget to comment your ideas too. It will make us to improve our channel. So, until next time, take care everyone.